was supposed to be a birthday gift from her parents, but instead a pregnant Gold Coast woman is fighting to get a refund, having been blocked at the last minute from boarding a Carnival cruise for being 26 weeks pregnant. Yeah, Kaylee Farrington, her two-year-old daughter Ottilie and her parents Robin and Tom Betts, they join us now live on the Gold Coast. Good morning to you guys. Thank you so much yeah. for being with us. It's been an awful time, I know. Mm. Kaylee, let's start with you. Can you explain to us what's happened here? Yeah, good morning. Um, look, it was a bit of a shock, to be honest. We uh, were really excited for a weekend away. It was my first time ever cruising. Um, and my mum booked it late last year. And so, you know, we thought everything would be fine. And we turn up at the terminal. Uh, my daughter and I actually got checked in at that point in time. And then um, there was an error in terms of the date of birth for my um, stepdad, Tom, here. And um, the gentleman that was serving turned around to speak with his uh, manager and that's when they looked at me and were like, you're pregnant. Oh. <laughs> and uh, everything went downhill from there. I mean, it is pretty <laughs> shocking, really, in this day and age to... It's almost... I mean, it's a sense of discrimination. You're only 26 weeks pregnant. There's not necessarily any danger associated with that. And, Tom, you know, for you, this was a gift that you'd bought for your, for your stepdaughter and so disappointing for the family. Yeah, I mean, I was travelling with... I was a thorn with these three roses and we sort of had this <laughs> duty as, a, as the only guy in the group to protect them. And we get there and they basically send her off the boat so you're not getting on and tell us we can go, though. My wife and I, Robin, can go. Uh, I mean, it was, it was just not only shocking but also handled very, very badly. And then we were told, of course, that there's no refund because we, we violated some term of some contract. Oh. Well, Robin, let's talk about that. Because you, you booked this trip for your daughter's birthday in October last year. Mm. She was already pregnant. Um, and were you aware at all of that policy? I think it's Clause 14 in that policy, which bans women who are more than 24 weeks pregnant. Were you aware of this at all? Absolutely not. When I actually booked the cruise, I knew Kaylee was going to be pregnant, but still in, like, about 26 <coughs> weeks. And knowing what you know is flying and things like that, that's like 32 weeks. I knew we weren't going to another island, we weren't leaving Australian waters. <laughs> and when I booked it, as you're booking it, they give you some important information, like if you're on mobility scooters or <laughs> some other little bits of information, nothing to do with pregnancy. So, and um, so I act actually had no idea and I thought this would be a great holiday. Mm. We can look after Ottilie and... Kaylee can have some sort of leisure time. <laughs> Kaylee's a solo mum by choice, so it was sort of something I really wanted to do for her before oh. she has a second baby. And it just all fell apart. We took oh. time off work and everything, but more so it really upset Otley because <laughs> I'll bet it she's did. like two and she was so excited and all she said now is, what is it, Otley? A naughty boat. <laughs> and she just calls That's it the naughty cute. boat. <laughs> and she's not going to go and... Any naughty boats again? Can you say naughty boat? No. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, I don't know. The industry is very keen so... on making an enemy in Ottilie in then. Mm. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Better not. I don't think she'll be cruising anytime soon. Yeah. I mean, uh, Kelly, it's... We weren't the only people either. That's what I was going to ask. Apparently, yeah, Kelly, that you weren't the only expectant mum who <laughs> turned away. Is that right? Yeah. So I think once they, you know signalled me out um, and put me, you know, across to the side of the uh, terminal. Um, another lady um, who was 25 weeks um, actually wasn't able to go on the boat, but her story is probably um, a little bit worse than mine because she actually called them um, when she was booking for the boat and um, uh, indicated, look, I'm pregnant, I'm booking with, you know, my my family here but I'm also going away with my large like a wider family group mm. and um, friends and so all of their you know um, friends were able to go when she was turned away as well but she actually asked um, at times so I think they're trying to find that uh, yeah voice recording because you Terrible. know Terrible. It just seems shocking because they just looked at you. Yeah. Well, you're there, you're ready to go, the holiday of a lifetime and they say, no, you're not coming. Um, just really quickly, Kaylee, what do you want to say to Carnival? Yes. Look, I think um, if this is going to be a policy and, you know, and that you're firm on it, I think you actually need to be upfront about it mm. prior. 
Um, my parents could have booked this boat, you know, two months prior mm. without, you know, me being pregnant at that point in time and this would have happened. Like, I think they needed to actually really prompt or have more prompting questions or actually, you know, provide more details. Um, you know, you're about to check in. Has anything changed or anything like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So hey, can I just quickly add something? Clear. That's that's the contract you're supposed to review before you tick right. the box and pay your, your money. That's and 22 got... pages, 168 clauses you're supposed to take care of. 168 <laughs> clauses. Yeah, young families. I mean, they're going through that no with way. a tooth and... Mm. By tooth and no way. Um, guys, thank you so much hey, for being with I us. Can I add one more thing too? Yes. Just quickly. Oh. They took our bags. Oh. Oh. They, they actually took our bags and they couldn't find our bags and we had to go back on the Sunday and collect our own bags oh, after goodness. the boat came back in. Oh, look, it's not an ideal <laughs> scenario, so is it? Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you so you much guys. for joining us. We're so sorry about what you've been through. Carnival yeah. has responded in full. The statement is on our website if you'd like to take a look. They just wanted a break. They yes, just wanted a break. exactly. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?